Good afternoon, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the increase in new home starts and building permit issuance for residential properties. Now, when it comes to this increase in new home um, permit issuance and starts, this is really a trend that you are looking for in order to bring the new inventory to the market. And hopefully with this new inventory, we can start having affordable homes for everybody again. Right now, the major problem with the housing market is that simply people just can't afford what's on the market. Now, it is of my opinion that it's a supply and demand issue and you just simply just don't have enough houses on the market to bring the price in line with the demand that is out there. So as long as you have this supply demand imbalance, you're always going to have prices being way out of proportion. So again, when it comes to the new inventory coming to the market, looking at the builders and what it is that they are doing is probably going to be the number one indicator that we can look at. Now, I'm a person who follows lumber. I work at a lumber yard. I do retail sales for a living. This channel got very popular for calling out the lumber market way ahead of a lot of other people out there and was able to call out that the inflation scenario that everybody was experiencing in lumber was going to disappear and nobody was going to be able to explain it. So I made all those calls within lumber. I look at lumber very closely. Now we have seen lumber moving over the last you know, say two weeks or so, two to three weeks. And I couldn't give you an exact number, probably somewhere around 10%, say. Um, I think that's a reasonable guess. It was around 500 per thousand. It's just shy of 550 per thousand. So when we look at lumber, we can see that the lumber futures in the months coming into the future are all increasing, right? So the demand for lumber, or at least the the perceived demand for lumber going into the future seems to be quite quite prevalent out there. So those are a couple of indicators that say, yes, this is the demand for new home construction that is going to be taking place that will bring that inventory to the market that everybody is hoping for and anticipating. Now, one of the other things we have to look at, not just at whether or not there's new home starts or building permit issuance or the lumber futures market, we have to look at builder sentiment, right? And now home builder sentiment has also recently come out and it has not done well, right? So I have a feeling that what we are experiencing within the new home starts and building permit issuance is just a wave of a receding tide. So like if you're standing on the beach and you're watching the ocean and the tide's going out, you still see waves coming in, right? Even though the tide is moving out. So looking at the home builder sentiment right now, um, this is not doing well. Some of the quotes coming out of this article, the rise in interest rates since the end of August has dampened builders view of the market conditions as a large number of pro prospective buyers were priced out of the market. Moreover, m higher short-term interest rates have increased the, the cost of financing for home builders and land developers, adding another headwind for housing supply in the market, low on re resale inventory. Right, So that's a major problem coming to these builders is that the interest rates are still quite elevated. Right. And it's not just the mortgage rates that everybody is looking at saying this is going to determine how much, you know, the builders are going to come to the market with new inventory. They also have an interest rate that they pay and it's not a mortgage rate. Right. They're trying to build a house. Right. They have to take out financing and stuff like that. They're not doing the same thing that a prospective buyer is doing. So their construction loans are far different from a mortgage loan that's going to be taking place. And they simply are not excited about taking out loans at this elevated interest rates. So when we look down at what this um, home builder sentiment has as far as what their indicators are, because what they do is they base it off of uh, 50 points like our a 50 point medium. So anything above 50 is positive. Anything below 50 is negative. And we have found that um, the home builder sentiment fell six points to 34 in November, right? Six points to 
34. That means it was at 40. It's very negative, right? I mean, if 50 is is the is the point in which that you know things above it are positive and anything below it is negative, it was at 40 and it dropped to 34. I'm looking at it right here. Anything? Uh, okay, uh, yeah, because I was just reading. Anything below is considered negative. All right. Um, but down here, they break it into three parts, and I just wanted to share those three parts with you so we can kind of get a feeling of what the builder's sentiment is, right? Um, of the index three components, current sales conditions fell six points to 40, right? So it was at 46. It's down at 40. Sales expectations in the next six, six months have dropped five points to 39. So it was at 44, and now it's at 39. And the buyer traffic fell five points, five points to 21. So it has a long, long, long ways to go to become positive again on the buyer traffic. They are simply not there. And so when you think about it in that fashion, a lot of this that has taken place within the new home starts right now, I don't believe is the excitement coming from the home builders looking to sell homes. I believe a lot of that may be people who are building homes for themselves. So basically those homes will never come to market. Like these are homes that are coming up that are gonna go, you know, people are moving straight into that will never have a chance for somebody to bid on or ask for, um, as, you know, ask for or even a price on. And so this is one of the things that I've been following and keeping an eye on because, again, like just because the new home starts and permit issuance is starting to increase, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be bringing new inventory to the market when anybody can really build a house or, you know, take out financing to buy a house and hire somebody to do that. It doesn't mean that that house is going to be coming up for sale. Not not at this time anyway. Now, when we see the buyer traffic start to increase, then I believe that would be the encouraging sign for the home builders out there to get out there and start building homes again, to have the idea that, you know, hey, I would have some buyer traffic here that at least give me some kind of like, you know, incentive to put bring them some sort of product to look at, right? And so until the buyer traffic starts to increase in the home builder sentiment, I don't see where it is that the home builders are going to get excited. And then moving back through this line, right, the expectations for the next six months have dropped five points. Well, that's reasonable to think, considering that nobody believes that the Federal Reserve is going to do anything with their interest rates as far as the next six months go. I mean, you know, whether or not it's going up, down or sideways, most likely it's not going to be significant over the next six months to bring, you know, mortgage rates down in a way that people are going to be excited about buying houses. So I don't like, I mean, that's a very reasonable belief that everybody is just like, yeah, the next six months is going to be terrible for expectations and sales. Like that's just kind of almost an obvious one. Um, but then the current sales conditions right now, right? And that's what I think a lot of people would be looking at is the reason that you would have an increase in the in the new home starts and building permit issuance is that if the sales expectations or the sales conditions right now were very prevalent, like as far as like, you know, a lot of people coming to the market to buy these houses or something. <clears throat> then I, I could see like maybe that would spark a reason why the new permit issuance or, you know, new home starts were taking place. But again, that's not, not the case. So I do believe that the increase that we are seeing within a lot of these articles that are coming out right now is not necessarily stuff that is going to be coming to the market and be for sale. Um, and I'd imagine that a lot of that stuff is probably multi multi residential stuff that's going to come up for rent and not really necessarily for for sale anyhow. So, all right, wanted to share that with you, uneducated economist. You guys, let me know.